Hey everybody, it's Marcus. Welcome back to the March 2022 Tesla Solar Panel and Powerwalls Monthly Update. For those of you that are new or just checking out the channel for the first time, we have a 12.24 kilowatt array, all east facing panels, and then the three power walls you see behind me with a 7.6 and a 3.8 kilowatt inverter since all our panels are facing the same direction. As spring's uh, you know, coming along here, we are seeing more and more production. The days are getting longer. The sun's getting more direct in the sky. Our peak during the day is above nine pretty consistently here, uh, approaching nine and a half kilowatt, uh, producing close to 70 kilowatt hours uh, during the day, which is impressive. Two or three times what we saw you know, in January. Um, just some monthly housekeeping updates before we get started here. Uh, this month, it's April 1st now, uh, in March we had daylight savings time. Uh, that didn't do anything really in terms of production numbers, but what it did do is shift all our production an hour later. Uh, for us with east facing panels, the majority of our production is during morning in the off peak time. Uh, we only probably have about 2 kilowatt hours of uh, peak production that is sent back to the grid. Uh, this just shifts everything an hour later, we spring forward, um, so we may see a little bit back to the grid uh, more than we would during peak time. Uh, not really that big of a deal. The other thing that happened is that Tesla updated the app to version 4.7.0. I think they've done a point release to 4.7.1. Uh, what this did was update some of the aesthetics on the app, made the setting screens and such a little prettier. It also introduced the functionality of opting out of Stormwatch events. Uh, it's actually been a really great update. Um, I opted back into Stormwatch. It's a little bit tired of it uh, using the grid to charge the batteries when there was plenty of solar to go um, for like a wind advisory that typically doesn't knock the power out. Uh, anyways. If you want to see more on that app update or the Stormwatch functionality, just go back through my history and I did a video about two weeks ago. Um, as always, if you like what you're seeing here, you're interested in getting a system, uh, you can use your own Tesla referral link to uh, self-refer yourself. It'll get you $300 off of your system if you're buying solar panels, $500 for a solar roof. But if you don't have a, a Tesla car, you can go down below there and use my referral link and that will allow you to get that money off of your order. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. As always, like and subscribe if you love these videos and let's get into the numbers. We'll start off with the house usage. We used about 50 kilowatt hours extra this month. That can just be attributed to the three extra days in March. Um, our average usage was actually about a kilowatt hour per day lower. Um, we're in that sweet spot right now where we don't have to use the heat and we don't have to use AC yet. So I imagine our house usage is going to go up quite a bit as it starts to get hotter here. Again, though, with the longer days and the more direct sun, uh, our solar production is really just going up month by month quite a bit. Uh, we generated about 400 more kilowatt hours in March than we did in February, around 1,560 kilowatt hours in March here. Um, again, about 100 kilowatt hours can be attributed to the shorter month in February. Um, but the average went from 39.7 kilowatt hours in February all the way up to over 50, 50.3 kilowatt hours in uh, March. What's really exciting to see is that the high in February was 48.5 kilowatt hours and it was all the way up to 65 kilowatt hours in March. Uh, we're hoping to uh, get up to close to 80 maybe in April here. I guess we'll see. Powerwall discharge is about the same as last month, maybe a little bit less. We're still pretty consistently using only about one power wall's worth of uh, electricity overnight. This is just, you know, what you use basically from sundown to sun up when the solar is not producing enough. Um, the lower days here, we didn't charge the car at home. Uh, the, the bigger days here are basically days where we did laundry at night, not during uh, solar production. 
Here's what I think is the most interesting graph of the bunch. You know, like I said last month, what a difference a month makes. From February, we sent back 387 kilowatt hours of the grid, and we doubled that in March to 783 kilowatt hours. Again, we're in that sweet spot where we're not using a heater AC, so I don't think that this will continue to double as much. I do think there will be more production. Hopefully, it will send more back, but I think the AC is going to eat into this um, amount sent back to the grid uh, as the summer goes on and it gets hotter and hotter. Um, you know, you can see here that basically in uh, February we sent back about 13 kilowatt hours of the grid daily. Here we pretty much doubled that to around 26 kilowatt hours. Uh, we actually had a day where we almost sent back 40 kilowatt hours, which is pretty amazing to me. Here's our monthly impact screen, just shows you that basically we didn't use the grid at all for the second month in a row. We produced around 1,559 kilowatt hours of solar, which is 221% of our house usage. We also didn't have any backup events where the power walls were needed to cover for the grid uh, going out. Our total house usage so far this year is a little over 2,000 kilowatt hours, 2.04 megawatt hours. Um, our production, though, is all the way up to 3.5 megawatt hours. Uh, it seems to be doing pretty well. Tesla predicted we get about 17 megawatt hours during the year. I imagine it will go up quite a bit during the summer months and then trail off at the end of the year, so it seems to be on track. And you can see here, three months along, our net usage with the grid is negative 1,220 kilowatt hours. Hopefully that should grow as the uh, year goes on here, and then we'll eat into that at the end of the year a little bit uh, as the days get shorter. I uh, hope you liked what you saw. Uh, try and do some more updates uh, this month. Uh, hoping to do a virtual power plant video. Uh, and otherwise, I'll see you next month for the monthly update. Have a good one.